around the corner, got them shades on my eyes. It's a pretty little thing by my side. That's flawless. Why you niggas still chasing roaches? I'm collecting all this money on the roads like I'm homeless. A nigga like me. Morning, everyone. You know, thanks for tuning in back again. You know, this is Nicola Media House. You know, thanks for stopping by again. I really appreciate it. You know, thanks for supporting all the videos. You know, thanks for everyone that's sharing. You know, thanks for everyone that's liking the videos. You know, it really mean a lot. You know, keep supporting them. And you know, good work has been putting out over here. You know, positive vibes, positive energy. You know, we should be out into the universe. You know, whatever we we talk about, but. Yeah, man, this is the FIFA Women's World Cup preview, run of 16, Reggae Girls versus Los Capitalos, Colombia. You know, it's going to be a really banger. You know, it's 48, it's less than 48 hours before kickoff on early Tuesday morning. You know, it's going to be, what, 3 a.m., you know, local time in Jamaica. And, you know, if you live in the U.S. on the, on the um, East Coast, it's 4 a.m., you know, if you live on the west coast in the u.s you know that game going to start at 1 a.m you know various people you know who live in the uk you know it's going to be 9 a.m you know so i hope you guys really come out man and support the girls you know tune into the tv man you know i hope every one of you guys get a good rest you know monday night you know so you have to wake up early and just watch the girls man you know just push that positive energy through the tv you know rally them on you know Energy is a very strong thing that, you know, feed off to the universe, you know, so just give that positive energy, man, you know, so the girls can really feel it, you know, it, it's, it's one team, you know, it's one country, you know, and so let's all of us just join in as one and tune into the TV and support, you know, whoever is over there in Australia, New Zealand, you know, they're going to give their 100 percent, you know, as you saw in previous um, games, you know, there's a lot of supporters, you know, over there. That's supporting the reggae girls, even the locals, you know, reggae music and all that stuff is big in Australia. You know, we are going to play in the same stadium, that rectangular Melbourne Stadium. You know, it's that's where, you know, we created history. You know, we got the point over Brazil and advanced to the run of 16. But yeah, you know, the US got crashed out of the tournament, man, in the run of 16. Who would have predicted that? You know, but I've been saying it in my videos, you know, the U.S. haven't looked like themselves like the last two World Cup. You know, the team, is, it's, I wouldn't say it's old, you know, it's a mixed bunch of players, you know, they've got very quality player in the squad, you know, the likes of Morgan, you know, Sophia Smith, you know, um, Radman, you know, Julie Ertz, you, you know, and they got their big, superstar megan rapina you know they got lindsey horan you know it's it, it's a really good squad you know and they got their well experienced fullback done you know but they got crashed out man and you know they it's going to be a new champion's crown you know will it be the reggae girls oh my god i wish it i wish it could have been the reggae girls going to lift that title you know coming august 20 but yeah man they got crashed out and you know the reggae girls are the only kanka cup team still left back in the zone the reggae girls are the only team in the tournament still haven't conceded a goal you know so hope we can take all of that positive results that positive vibes into choose a game against colombia man it's going to really it's going to be a really big game but you know the reggae girls we are carrying a torch you know we are carrying a torch for the Concacaf region the u.s got crashed out canada got crashed out costa rica got crashed out panama got crashed out Haiti got crashed out, left the lone soldiers, the reggae girls, you know, big up, man. Who would have even predict that? Say, yo, whenever the U.S. got knocked out of the FIFA Women's World Cup, reggae girls are still in the tournament. You know, they still have their run of 16 games to play. You know, that's massive. Like, I don't know if people really realize, like, U.S., you know, is the best woman team in the world, you know, as they won the last two FIFA Women's World Cup and they got crashed out and the reggae girls are still in the tournament. Oh my God, yo, that is so, so epic. Like the feeling that I got this morning, you know, just to know that the reggae girls are the one that, you know, everyone, you know, is depending on to carry that CONCACAF torch, you know, as far as we can, you know, the winner for this game going to play either England, our Nigeria, you know, it's it's just an 
unbelievable feeling, man. You know, and even for just beat Colombia and enter that final eight of the tournament, you know, but we're just focusing on what to come and choose it, and that's the run of 16 game against Los Cafeteros. Yeah, so I'm going to kick things off with Colombia. You know, Colombia, they are they are a very experienced team when it comes down to tournament. You know, they went to the last Copa America for females. They went to the final. They host that tournament. That was last year, you know, but they got beaten by a very good Brazil team in the final. You know, but this team have quality, this team have experience of, you know, how to play knockout round games, you know. But they're going to have a key pieces that they're going to really miss in this game. You know, her name is Manuela Venegas. You know, she's a left back. Like everything play through Manuela Venegas. You know, everything play through her. You know, just like oh, we play through. You know, Denisha Blackwood is 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 our vital piece going forward. You know, whenever we attacking. You know, that's all vital. You know. Manuela is to this Colombia team. You know, she got two yellow cards and, you know, she, she has to sit out a game, you know, and she's going to miss that regular girl game um, on Tuesday. So, you know, they're going to have to replace, you know, I don't think Colombia have a real left back, genuine left back. You know, I think it's going to be a makeshift uh, replacement on Tuesday. So, you know, I hope we can take advantage of that you know um that that position that left back position attack more you know that's going to be will share and you know china matthews if she plays or tiffany cameron whoever played on that right side you know i hope we can take a lot of advantage down that right side you know that that's going to be the weak side for colombia cars their left back is out yeah so um you know colombia superstar you know linda kai said you know she's still young you know, she she's just 18 years of age, you know, she still haven't fully developed as yet. She still haven't even reached halfway her peak and she is so good. You know, she's one of that real superstar in the women's game that going to she's going to do uh, she's going to do great things ten years from now, you know. But you know, it's up to her to still keep that attitude, you know, still keeping that hunger of playing you know, football, but, you know, the reggae girls, you know, we're going to have to stop her, you know, she's going to come up against, you know, Will Shear, our right back, you know, but Linda, man, she's a player that, you know, whenever she played on that left side, you know, she like to chop that ball back in and either shoot or try to cross it so either one of her teammates can get, get on the end of that ball and, you know, try to get the header or something, you know, but she's very dynamic, you know, she's she likes to take on defenders 1v1, you know, she strive on that, but I think most people don't realize, you know, she is more dangerous on that right side. You know, I watched her in the youth workups, both workups last year, and she played mostly on the right for Colombia, in especially in that under twenty workup, and she is so dangerous going down the right because she's so quick. You know, she can even just knock the ball forward and just run past her opponent like nobody's there. You know, that's that's how good she is, but. So overall, you know, but this Colombia team, man, you know, they build up slowly in possession, you know, they like to take a lot of touches on the ball, you know, they like to get everyone involved before they really attack. But, you know, sometimes they have that quick, that fast, long ball, you know, that it can play over the top, you know, as they have a number nine, you know, I think her name was Ramirez, you know, she, um, Marla Maya Ramirez, the number nine for Colombia, the striker, you know, this game, going to prove a lot and all oh, the regular girls center are going to deal with her you know she's very physical she's a complete number and you know she can hit the ball you know she can rush into physical challenge you know she can dribble she could she good at her back to goal you know she can hold up play you know she she just like to have a toss with defenders you know that's how she strive you know and she's a very good number nine you know she haven't scored as it but She's that vital piece in Colombia, um, final third, you know, how they link up there and, you know, how she can hold up the ball and get attacking players around her and, you know, just play the ball off her shoulder. But she is so physical, you know, she she likes ball in the box, you know, whenever ball get crossed in the box, you know, that's how, you know, she she likes it, you know, she loves to go 
physical with center half. So it's going to be really one to what you know. It's going to be really crucial for the Swaby sisters. You know, it's to see how they deal with someone physically because they they haven't you know go up against someone that's going to have such physical strength. You know, someone that likes to go up in the air, do a challenge. You know, she's like a, a Diego Costa. You know, likes just like to fight with her with her center half. You know, and the Swaby sisters haven't come up against you know any strikers like that. It's close they did. It was late summer. The French striker, you know, they came up against Brazil, um, the Bina and and Jaise. You know, they they are not physical. You know, and the Panama team, they they don't really have a natural you know center forward that's really physical. So this is going to be a really test for the Swaby sister. But you know, I, I know they're going to be ready for this one you know because it's it's going to be a big game but you know if we can stop the Colombia team from getting less ball into the box you know there's going to be less chances and if we can stop them from giving Linda Caicedo less ball you know it's more opportunity for us for win this game you know as I said Colombia they like to take a lot of touches on the ball you know that's how they play the men and women you know they played really slow and and build up and try to play that ball on the wing you know both full box they don't really press that much they don't really press high either you know but whenever they get the ball they if they always look to get that ball into the box to ramirez their number nine you know so it's going to be really crucial and all we do with with, with aerial ball you know so you know this colombia team they don't really have a plan b you know you saw it against morocco you know when they played team in the in the in the past that comes up with low blocks you know who sit behind the ball and try to hit them on the counter is this like they don't have a plan b and how to break down these teams they just keep trying doing you know they keep doing the same thing over and over and over you know try to play through the middle or try to get crosses into the box or just try to give the ball you know to linda kaiseido to just do 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 a miracle with the ball you know hope she can do something you know but they don't really have a plan B. So if Jamaica can stop Colombia from playing through their channels, how they comfortable playing, you know, it's going to be much easier for the reggae girls to try to win this game. You know, but Colombia, don't underestimate them. They are a very good team. They are like probably the second best team in South America behind Brazil. That's how good this team is. Yeah, man, uh, moving on to the reggae girls, man. You know, said before, you know, we are the only team in the tournament who haven't conceded any goals you know three clean sheet by rebecca spencer brazil france and panama game you know but coming into this game man you know we defend really well in this tournament you know so it's up to the attackers in this game you know i think we're going to need bonisha more than ever in this game because this game you know it's going to be you know but this game we're going to need to score you know, we only scored one goal so far, and that was in the Panama game by by Swaby. You know, but yeah, but you know, I'm going to give you guys a stats. You know, about the Reggae Girls. Um, the Reggae Girls they took only six shots on target in the group stage. You know, and all those six shots they took by six different players. Um, Samson took one, Denisha Blacko took one. You know, the Swaby sisters, Chena Matthews, and Denisha Blackwood, You know. Only six players took six shots on target, you know. Yeah, um, so Khadija Bonisha took five shots on the goal and none of them went on target. You know, Drew Spence took five shots on goal and none of them went to the goal on target. You know, the only, and not the only player, um, Atlanta Premium, she took six shots to the goal and none of them went on target. So we're going to need to, be more accurate on our on our on our on our shot that we take. You know, we need to let the goalkeeper work. If you don't kick the ball on the target, you know, it's going to it's it's going to be 99.9 difficult to score because you need to hit the target to score. Denisha Blackwood, most people don't realize on the stat sheet, Denisha Blackwood is really key to this reggae girls team, both in the defensive third and the attacking third. You know, Denisha Blackwood is the only player in the squad. To um to one six individual tackles in her defensive third, you know she took a hundred and sixty three touches 
in the, in all three games and she completes 62 passes in this game i think i think her passing rate is 55 percent you know she is one of the best passer in the team on the stat sheet behind drew spence drew spence is the one that driving the team forward you know drew spence is the one that creating chances you know denisha black would have most crosses into the box she has she took the most set pieces you know so everything going to have to be right through denisha blackwood you know she's a left back you know these stats are not normal as a left back you know left back don't normally be the vocal point for a team you know this reminds me as you know when marcella Evo was 10 years younger playing at Real Madrid, you know bumping forward you know but you know, I would, I would love to see most of the ball go, go to that left-hand side of the regulars, you know, even Jody Brown. You know, Jody Brown is very key. Jody Brown is the one that made the most tackles for attacking players in her defensive third. She had five. So that that left side for, for the regulars is so strong. You know, Jody Brown is the one that will have the most um triple against her opposition. You know, she, she has more successful dribble complete you know she's the one that takes on players 1v1 so that left hand side going to be really crucial and you know i would love to see bonisha link up more towards that left hand side with jody brown and denisha blackwood you know but khadija bonisha she's going to have to come up with some magic you know she is the leading goal scorer for the regular girls overall you know she she scored the most goal in the WSL for Man City in a season. You know, so she's going to have to produce in this game. You know, she's going to have to come up big time. You know, um, those two players, you know, they, they write up there in the stat sheet of passing, you know, dribbling, you know, they they they, they fast, you know. Jody Brown is good 1v1 coming up against, you know, our opposition. You know, so I hope we can get the ball more on that left side you know bonisha is going to be really key and i think this game is a game that you know she's going to have to score and get involved in the attacking play you know she's she last game she played you know it's like she was trying to over triple you know most of the time when she turned and dribble you know she would beat a player but she tried to do more all she have to do is play the ball off shot because I, I, quite a few times in that Brazil game you know, they got a breakaway where Bonnie Shark would just hold her head up and just play that ball and slip Jody Brown in. You know, she can get 1v1 with Defender. And even on the right side, you know, Tiffany Cameron was free a couple of times when, when Khadija Bonnie Shark get that ball and turn against her defenders. You know, but she's trying to do too much. And you know, I think she needs to keep it a little bit simple and lay that ball off you know and just run in space again and you can even get that ball back in that same channel you know and even have a clearer part to to, to, to shoot the ball where you can finish you know she got a, she got i think she got two um what do I call it, half chances one you know almost a one-on-one -on -one where the defender you know fell before she even kicked that ball you know i think she needs to be more lethal and you know have more composure when she get into the attacking third so you know but we're going to have to depend on her to get all those plays you know more accurate than how we did in the brazil game but yeah man you know this is nicada media House, and this is a preview of the regular girls game against los Capiteros. remember it's on tuesday so i hope you guys wake up early in the morning to get tuned in but you know thanks man for watching you know and this is nicada media House, and i really appreciate it peace out